Welcome back, Stingos. I want you to come in, come in, come in, come in. How are you? How are you guys? All right, so I'm gonna let you guys come in. And I'm gonna read the energy in the room. Say hi when you come in. <laughs> Ortegar, look. People are going to be really mad that you're the first twice in a row. <laughs> the real monkey panda, what's up? Hi. Stay fit, stay focused with a K. Hello. Nisia, hi. Come in, guys. Ooh. Oh, we're going in tonight. We're going in. Oh, man. Whew. I had an amazing writing session. Sometimes my sessions are like four or five hours long. But I went in today. So you guys know that I am. Hi. Hi, Wakima. Hi, son. Tiana. Is it Sia or Saya? I hate to pronounce people's names wrong. Aquarius. <laughs> yes. So I had, a, I had a great writing session today. I'm working on my third book. Almost three quarters of the way done. I will say this. It is much longer than Dating Scorpio and Rise from the Ashes. It's done, it exceeded the length of those. Uh, hey, Carolyn. Let me see what energy is in here. We're going to talk about Scorpio and protectiveness because, of course, um, in that chapter, I just finished that chapter where I discuss in what ways Scorpios are protective because, of course, it is not like other zodiac signs. And a lot of people have an experience with someone else and they come to us and they think it's the same. They translate it the same and it is not. So we're going to talk about that for sure. And um Why a lot of people don't even deserve it? Ah, Sia. Sia, but it's, she says Sia. Is it Sia? Sia. Got you. Gory, what's up with you? <laughs> Oof. All right, guys. Let me see what energy is in here. Ooh, a car just flew out. And it is the sun. So we got some hidden Leos, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, most likely your sun, moon, or rising. Okay, Elijah, come on in. Come in, come in. So we got the sun. We got some Leo energy in the house. Mars, Scorpio, Aries. Libra. I knew y'all was coming in here. <laughs> Uranian energy, that's probably mine. <laughs> Capricorn energy, that's probably mine. <laughs> yes, come on in. And of course, the energy is going to change as everybody comes in. So I don't know who's coming in, but I'm going to wait a little bit. And then we're going to get started. Ooh, my back. All right, we're going to start. So it is a rainy, rainy, rainy day here in NYC. Luckily, I already um, did all my exercise, went out and ran and did all the things I needed to do. There we go. My cards never lie. They always pick up the energy. Mm. I always say nobody can lie to an astrologer, tarot card reader, Scorpio. It just all comes out. All comes out. And if I want to get intricate, I'm like, which deck want to come out and play? I think I have 20, I counted 26 decks, not a whole lot, but um, they can tell me anything I need to know, honey. If I don't have their chart, and their birth date, I could, we could figure it out. 
my cards always tell. And if I need some other information, I got a Ouija board, baby. So we can go all in. We can go talk to the dead. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, so I wanted to talk about protectiveness because of a few things. Um, coming from the standpoint, I don't think you guys will fully get the energy of being protected if you have not been protected in your life. If you have, if you've not been one of those people who have been thrown to the wolves and everybody's out for themselves and when it comes down to it, you know, people run, then you don't, you won't know what I'm talking about, but I have been one of those people. I've been one of those people who have uh, protected other individuals. And when it came down to it, I got thrown out into the wind. And they were like, oh, it's not me. I don't know what happened. And so when I'm in the vicinity of someone who is very protective of me, it is illuminated even bigger. Like I get it. I get the energy, right? And Scorpios protect in a way that others do not. They do not. Uh, other people are very, I find that they're number one, very conditional with it. So they'll protect you like if you're friendly, but if you're not, they won't. And for me, I guess that ties into loyalty. There's something, they're not the same thing apparently, but they're intertwined. And I'm talking about when it comes to Scorpios, everybody else, your energy is your energy. You probably won't be able to resonate with what I'm saying and that's okay. And you probably won't know what I'm talking about. Okay. But Scorpios would. So there's an intertwining of loyalty within protectiveness. And I believe that we're the only ones who do it. We're the only ones like that. And I know because I've been around everyone else, even though I'm a very introverted person, I always have been, I've been in the vicinity. I've put myself in situations. I've been in very, very social situations, especially working in a public eye. So I'm very introverted within a social climate. And I'm always observing the energy of other individuals always a hundred percent of the time. It doesn't matter if I'm talking to them, if I know them or not, they can be way over there. And I, I just pick up on it very intensely and I get it. So I'm always watching people and studying them. I've always been studying behavioral patterns, relationships. What happens if this happens? What happens if that happens? So I believe this might've been in my book, Dating Scorpio, where, and this is just another example of many that I'm going to give you tonight. I remember in eighth grade, and I do talk about this in Daddy Scorpio, and it, and it might be not in the print version of my book. It may be in the audio version, because you guys know in the audio versions, you get a lot more. <laughs> we do an extended, the whole entire conversation I go through in, in the audios. So it may have been in the audios, but anyway. I talk about a situation in eighth grade. I may have glossed over this, but I'm going to give it to you now. Where a so-called friend and I separated, right? Separated for a period of time. And within that separation, yes, I do talk about this in the print book, actually. Uh, I also may talk about this in Rise from the Ashes because they're kind of, the stories are kind of conjoined. So whatever you'll get in Rise you'll get in dating Scorpio or vice versa. You'll get smidges of them. Like you'll know to reference back to that book. Eighth grade, me and a so-called friend had a separation. And what's interesting about being friends with a Scorpio is that when you're friends with a Scorpio, you, you have, you're in this little box. You're in this little box. And within that box, it doesn't matter who the Scorpio is. They could be a popular person. They could be a non-popular person. They could be totally obscure. Nobody can know what they're talking about. It doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with it. So being one of a, a so-called friend of ours, getting a label of any sort, 
you have a cute little box that you get in. And within that cute little box comes protection. You get all our attention. We do all sorts of things like help you transform, breaking you, yourself down, you know, allowing you to see your true self. So all these things happen within that the vicinity of that little box. So let's say you're around us for a year. I'll just pick a year. It doesn't matter what period of time. And when you come to us, you know, you've got all sort of anxiety, all sorts of issues. And it may not be intense. It could be just a little bit. Maybe you're confused. You don't know where you're going. Within that, within that year, in that cute little box that you have of us now that you are a so-called friend, now that you're someone we consider close to us or close enough to share energy with on a daily basis, right? So now you're getting um, all these amenities, all these amenities, right? We're building up your self-esteem. We're showing you who you are. Now, like I said in my live stream, what, yesterday, the other day? The way in which our transformation happens is not going to be like the other other people. You're not getting baby. We're not doing that whole thing. Like I'm not, I'm not even dealing with that at all. You're not getting coddled by us. We're the tough love sign and you can call us whatever you like. It doesn't matter. When you walk away from a Scorpio, you will have deeper introspection, period. And no one else is going to give you that. Not in the way that we're going to do it. We're breaking you all the way down, period. This is what we do. And so after a year of being in your cute little box with us and being protected by us and having your self-esteem build, broken down and rebuild, having us having us show you who you are, right? Um so after that and 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 we separated, she no longer had that little box, right? And not being in that little box meant that everything that came along with being a so-called friend of mine, which means all the things that I just described, now she didn't have access to it, okay? So this happens within a lot of your relationships, and I'm going to go backwards, and we're going to talk about the different ways in which we protect you versus the ways in which you don't protect us. And the ways in which other people, um, the differences between other people and other relationships. Stay with me. So after separation, which usually happens with a Scorpio, after separation, you can no longer enjoy these amenities. You can't. You can't enjoy the amenities, right? So now... She had to go look for other amenities. Oh my gosh, who else is going to protect me now? <gasps> right? And I explained to you guys that her only option was to go to my enemies. So now she had to go to the very people that she used to talk shit about just literally a day before and the people that to disrespect me, who I don't like and so forth. So she had to crawl over to that avenue, which a lot of people do. As soon as Scorpios release them, or we sever the relationship, now they're not in the vicinity of all those amenities they were getting. So it's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because now I don't have that. I don't have that. And so the loyalty went out the window. On her end, the loyalty went out the window. Because now in the vicinity of my enemies, now she is, uh, you know, enveloped in negative conversation about me. Now she's encouraged to talk shit about me, which she did. And now everything that we had has been shifted onto people that she didn't like, people didn't like her, but she had no options because she wasn't a stronger person and needed to be protected. Okay. This is what happens when people need to be protected. Now, if we reverse it, we'll talk about me. I didn't need anybody to protect me. She didn't have me in a little box of being protected. I didn't really get any amenities by hanging around her. You know, night 
considered a nice person, nice, whatever you, your definition of nice is, that was good enough. But I didn't get any amenities. I didn't get protected. I, I didn't get that loyalty. And um, even though the relationship was severed, I didn't need anyone to have my back. So I always had my own back. I can always come out swinging by myself. I didn't need anybody to defend me. You know, these are the things she gets. She got me defending her, me guarding her, me being the bodyguard and all this, that, and the other, me being the support, right? And so I didn't have to have that. Nobody came for me, no matter who I'm friends with or who I'm not friends with. Because I stand on my own two feet. Even when you're next to me, it doesn't matter. I stand on my own two feet. I don't need to, I don't need the amenities like that. So I don't expect the, those amenities. And it's not necessary for me. I like it, but it's not necessary for me, right? And so off she went to the enemies um, with no protection, looking for protection. They didn't protect her. They didn't even like her. <laughs> right? They didn't even like her. And so what let's I'm gonna leave you there for a minute. I'm going to leave you there, right there, so that you can just absorb that part of this, this conversation. Let's talk about what it means to be protected by a Scorpio. Okay. What are, what are these amenities that are in the little box? What comes with the little box? What comes with the relationship? What comes with having a close relationship with us and getting all of these things that you would not get with someone else, that you would not get with somebody else. So there's so many things that are going to happen within your life. Life is a shit show. It really is. Every day is something new, right? And a lot of people are not equipped just in your personality, just in your natural personality, you're not equipped to handle certain things. And we talked about this in my other live stream where I discuss going in that bathroom and somebody crying and waiting for me, just waiting for me. Please coddle me. Please console me. Please. Things that I wouldn't look at in other people. Like I just, I, I'm not equipped to, to wait for somebody to call me or or I wouldn't even expect somebody to be like, are you okay? Which is that I, I said, there's nothing wrong with that. However, a lot of people aren't equipped to handle all the shitty things that life throws us. All the things. They, they can't. It's please let me reach out. And this is why we build packs and we need friends and we need clicks and we need clubs and we need that whole entire support system. Usually it's our family. But as we get older and move out of our family, we look for friendships. We seek them out. Oh, my gosh. Who am I going to be friends with? Oh my gosh, I have no friends. This is the reason why, because we're so, beings are social. Humans are social and we need some sort of pack. I never had that. I never had a pack. Never. Even when I hung around people, I was very independent. I can always fight my way out of things, whether that's an argument or a fist fight. And I've had both. Okay. I've had plenty of both. I can defend myself. I can stand up for myself. I can pull resources if need be. Um, and, and this is the thing. So Scorpio's naturally ruling the eighth house, right? And people are so scared of the eighth house. So scared of the eighth house. Not even realizing that the eighth house is so powerful and about other people's resources, right? Pluto is so powerful and so strong that we build relationships with powerful people, okay? We tend to do that. We tend to build relationships with people in charge, people with means, people of power, right? So on our way up, we have the character of, of strength because people are always looking to us to defend them, protect. We have that character, so we naturally attract individuals with, with power who have resources to make shit happen, right? Who can, listen, Malika, what do you need? I'll get it done. Things like that. What, you know, oh, I can help you. Oh, I can do this. Knowing that it's reciprocated in all sorts of ways, in all sorts of ways, emotionally, spiritually. 
I give people so much, not even on a material level, because I'm not a tourist. We're not talking about the second house. People get so much from me, so much transformation from me that I'm offered so many things like, yo, what do you need? What do you need? This is called power play. And this is the eighth house of resources who I can call. When shit pops in that cute little box that you're in, that you're enjoying my protection, when shit pops for you and you can't handle it, I have the resources that can handle it. I know the people. I know the places. I know the things. I have the information. Okay? One of the benefits of being close with Scorpios. I got you. I'll take care of it. Shit like that. Okay? That's part of being protected. It's part of being protected. Right? And it's a big part of being protected. Because you don't go through life by yourself. You don't do it. You don't do it. Things are going to happen to you. Things are going to happen, you know, around people you love. Things, And you're going to lift up the phone. And if you've got nobody to call or you call someone and they can't do shit for you. I know people like that. You call them and they're like, hmm, well, I don't know. Like they don't know anything. Their whole lives, they haven't made any power plays. They know nothing. They, can't, they have no resources. They can't do anything. You call me and I can find somebody. If I can't do it, I know somebody who can. I know somebody who can. Oh, I got you. Right? That's part of being in our tribe. That's part of it, right? So Scorpios having the loyalty tied into protectiveness means that if you're part of us, then we got you, period. People aren't going to talk shit about you, especially when you're not around. When you're not around, you still, you still, we, you still get all the amenities, right? If you're disrespected, we can handle that shit, right? If you run into problems, we either got you or know somebody who got you, right? And never mind all the transformation you're getting. Your whole life, your whole life structure is being changed just by being in our vicinity, just by being in that little box. And this does not happen with non-Scorpios. It doesn't happen. You may get some things, but you're not going to get the transformation. You may get this, but you're not going to get that. With us, you get everything that's in the cute little package. And this is why when people separate from us, it's so painful. Now, I want to I want to tell you this because I know what it feels like to be thrown to the wolves by other people. And I talk about this in my upcoming book, and I'm going to give you a little bit of it. These are just scenarios. These are all scenarios that I'll never forget. I never forget anything. I remember everything in such uh, precision, the detail in such precision. And I just compartmentalize them all. And so unless I get Alzheimer's or I have some big head injury, we got it all up here. And I know who everybody is in different circumstances because it takes different circumstances to pull out your truest self. So I talk about a scenario, a couple of scenarios, actually, uh, where other people do things that seem like protection, but it really isn't. It's not about you. It's about them. And as a Scorpio, as a deep, sensitive feeler, I know when somebody's arguing or so-called sticking up for me, but it's really not about me. It's about them showing who they are, right? So I remember in, what year was this? It wasn't that long ago. It was uh, maybe 2016 or something like that. So the same person from eighth grade who we separated from was posting my, I think I talked to you guys about this, was posting my photographs on Facebook. I wasn't on Facebook at the time. I had been off for a very long time. And one of my relatives had told me about it. 
And I was like, well, this is interesting because that relative knows that I haven't dealt with this person in almost 10 years, right? Mind you, that relative was hanging out with this individual the whole time, like really, really friendly with one of my enemies. That's number one. Number two, when they told me that this person was posting my photographs on Facebook, they they told me like in a giggly way. And I was just like, well, that's interesting. So what did you say to them? They're posting photos of a family member. You know, I don't mess with them. What, what Like, I don't get it. Tell them to take it off. So they didn't tell them to take it off. They were having a field day with it, right? And so I think when I got, when I showed a little bit of intensity, then they were like, okay, I'll tell them to take it down. So the way in which they approached that person wasn't about me at all. It wasn't about protecting me. It wasn't about doing any of that stuff. It was about them. I don't know. It, 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 was, it was definitely about them trying to show maybe that they weren't a weak person. Because I was like, well, tell them to take it off. And so they were trying to sh prove something to them. It, w it had nothing to do with me. Because if it had something to do with me, if they were a protective person, they wouldn't have even had to tell me that somebody was posting something. They would have saw the post and said, she don't mess with you. Take that shit down right now. It would have been handled. Now, this is this is this person is obviously not a Scorpio, but this is Scorpio behavior, right? And I'm going to get back to this person because I'm going to bring them up in another story so you can get another idea of what I'm talking about. And many of you who are not Scorpios, you do this too. Don't try and pretend that you're the most protective person. You're not. And so if that were a Scorpio, right, if that were me, and I saw, now it doesn't matter what relative it is. I could be fighting with that relative. I cannot like that relative. That doesn't matter because once once our DNAs connect, we have a specific type of loyalty to you, period. Now, other signs don't go by that, but we do, period. Doesn't mean I'm calling you every day or nothing, but if somebody's talk, running their mouth or somebody's posting your picture, I'm going to handle it behind the scenes. I don't need to talk to you about it. You don't even, you, you probably will never know unless someone else mentions it that somebody was trying to clown you or post pictures of you trying to pretend she was trying to pretend we were still friends and get attention, trying to get clout off of it. And um, I would have just handled it. You wouldn't have even known about it. Period. It wouldn't have been a discussion like so and so is posting your picture. Well, what did you do? It's just like when people, so and so is talking about. Okay, well, what did you do? What did you do? Because you're enjoying the amenities of my box. What did you do? Right? And so that's like a prime example of just these tiny little things. And you can have any argument you want about it. A lot of people, when I mentioned this story, had some type of argument about it. No, 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 no. See, this is not, this is not how Scorpios operate, right? This is not how we operate. This is not how we operate. You know how we operate? So my Scorpio brother who transitioned, made his transition in 2016, we grew up, you know, we had a very deep understanding with each other, both being Scorpios. He had a Leo moon, which is more outward and more fiery, and he needed a lot more attention than he can get. OK, and me having a sun and moon conjunct in Scorpio, I'm the quiet storm. I never announce. I just sneak up on you. And I have to say, I was the only one besides my father who wasn't afraid of him. You know, my siblings had some sort of fear. And I was like, well, what is the fear? You know what I mean? Like, what's what's going on? Like, what's the fear? Like. When when him and I would get into it, you call the cops because I'm going I'm going all the way to the end and he was going all the way to the end. 
and that and that's that's how it is. However, he was more forgiving with the Leo moon. With me, um, we're not doing none of that. So keep that in mind as I tell you what's going on. So that's pretty much how we were. We always stayed out of each other's way, never overstepped boundaries, stayed in each other's lane. If we had some blow up, at the end, he, he ended up backing off. I was the quiet fucking tsunami. Okay? And he knew better. He knew better. Check this out. So when I was a teenager and all his stupid little friends, you know, I was growing up and all his little friends and neighborhood friends started looking like, oh, wait a minute. Is that Malika getting older? Wait. <laughs> Is that her getting older? And the relationship his friends had with him was so profound because if me or my sister was around, particularly me, my other sisters, he didn't really act that way with for some reason, particularly me, they would ask him permission to talk to me. They would never, they, he built some type of little boundary around me where they knew that they couldn't just approach me like that. They would stand off to the side. And I remember one day in the kitchen, one of his friends asking, can I, can I talk to your sister? Like, can I, can I have permission to talk to your sister? And he cussed him out. He was like, F no. As a matter of fact, get the F up out of her face. Like he just like, boom. And that person never talked to me again in their whole life, like their whole life. It wasn't just that moment, but like the whole time growing up, they never said a word to me. And so I'm the same way. I'm the same way. You know, we build nice little gates around our people, our friends, our family, whoever we consider it so-called friends. We build little gates around. And people don't even have the access, right? They don't even have the access in to say shit, right? Or else we're going to handle it. Now, the other brother, right, um, who allowed that person to post my pictures, he's not a Scorpio. I remember us hanging out, going to the club, and one of his friends had all access to me. One of his friends asked him, do you mind if I ask your sister out to dinner? And he didn't do that because he was afraid of this particular brother. He did that like trying to show me that he was like some respectful man. Do you know what my brother said? I don't care. He's like, I don't care. There was no gate, none. I was thrown to the wolves. I always think when I'm in the vicinity of others, how the do they get access to me? If you near me, how they got access to me? How? 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 Oh, really? They got, they got access to me like that? Even the double Leo friend I was with, we were walking down the street. And I'm throwing you all these different stories because this is the easiest way for you guys to digest this. I'm a storyteller. I'm going to let you digest this. My double Leo friend, the sun and moon, my closest friend, we're walking down the street and some guy passed and he was trying to give me a flyer. And I kid you not with the quickness that Leo grabbed that effing flyer and he said, that's how motherfuckers get punched in their fucking face. And, and he snatched that shit. Like you don't have access like that. Why are you giving her something when I'm standing here six foot three? You don't have that type of access. And that dude went running off. And that's what I expect in my, that's what I expect in my friendships. That's how I, that's how I behave. This is the, this is the gate here. Where do you get the access? You don't even have access. Okay. This is number one. You don't even have access to us. And this is really important when I talk about like dealing with Scorpios and like going out and, and, you know, all this drama that people start and things like that. Like with me, I wouldn't even have you put you in that situation. If I know that I'm hanging out with somebody that you may not vibe with, that there's they're, they're invasive, that I wouldn't even invite you. 
A lot of people don't get this. Why ain't you invite me? Oh my gosh, you invited everybody else. They don't know behind the scenes. I'm fucking looking out for your dumb ass. Don't ask me no questions. I know what I'm doing. I didn't invite you for a reason. Don't ask me shit. I never question Scorpio's moves ever because I know behind the scenes they're in my favor. You didn't invite me. You must have known there was some bullshit going on and you knew I wasn't going to like that shit. I appreciate it. I don't have any questions. Why he do this? Look, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. They're looking out for you and you got some complaint. You know what? Good. We'll take away the bubble then. Get out of our box. And guess what? Now you're thrown to the wolves. I know what it's like to be thrown to the wolves. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I know what it's like to not have a gate. When I went Scorpios, the difference is with us is that we all have our power. I know I don't have to I don't have to build gates around them like that because they got their own shit, whereas other signs don't. The girl in the bathroom crying and shit, that doesn't happen with us like that. That doesn't happen with us like that. We got our own gates. We got our own fences. And there's a certain type of energy that we already have together. So all of us together has got this big gate. If I'm out with somebody else, I got my gate and I got to have their fucking gates. But they don't have mine because people are posting pictures behind the scenes on Facebook, my photos, pretending that we're friends so they can get some clout. And nobody's saying anything about it, except for they're scurrying to me like a little rat, telling me somebody's got your picture. Oh, really? What are you telling me for? What are you telling me for? Handle that shit. And if I got to tell you to handle it, we got a problem. We got a problem, don't we? Yes, we do. And so, so many things happen behind the scenes that a lot of people don't even realize. I've had situations where I had to literally keep people apart and they didn't even know it. They didn't even know it. I had to make moves where I'm hanging out with this person and I cannot have that person there because I know this is a sensitive person and they're going to fucking trigger them and I'm protective of them, so I'm not even going to invite them so that I don't have to sit there in between and have stupid little fights. This is the shit that goes on that people don't even get. There's all sorts of little chess moves made on your behalf, yet you got a, you got some type of slick complaint. It just, for me, it's mind-boggling. It's absolutely mind-boggling to me. Blows my mind. So when I get little messages about, oh my gosh, Scorpio's doing this, that, and the other, and I'm like, are you serious? What is your complaint? You're in the vicinity of all this luxury, this little box with so many little things going on in there. When I'm with you, you're the only one in the world, or you feel like it. <laughs> You don't feel like that with these other signs because their eyes are moving around. They have low tension span. They're not running out for you. When they come out swinging, they're swinging because they want to show how tough they are. And shit ain't even about you. It's not personal. We're a personable sign. We're one-on-one. -on -one. They're not like that. They're swinging not for your honor. They're swinging so they can show the fuck off. They're not doing that shit for you. You know that my Scorpio brother kept his friends away from me? He kept them. They, they never got in my face. That was the one time in my life where a friend of his tried, and he didn't even try and roll up. He was way on the side. And he has a little tail between his legs. He was like, can I talk to you, sister? Even his voice got low. My brother just jumped on his ass like, fuck out of here. F out of here. Nah, I don't ever even try it. Don't say shit. Don't say hi. Don't say nothing. And I'm like that, too. I find myself like that. I remember being out, you know, with one of my nephews years ago, we were at the movie theater and some guy had complained. He was a kid at the time and he was like making a little noise and the movie hadn't even started. And I think that guy said something and I swear I was like, 
oh my gosh, if he says one more word, and this was a man, and like, you know, I don't fight men or do like, I was, I was like, yo, and he had his lady with him, and I was like, I dare there to be some words, because I would jump right up, like, it's, it, it, there's not going to be conversation, like, I don't do the peacemaking, I'm not a Libra, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't, I'm not accommodating or nothing, like, we just, we just war about to start, like, don't, if you want to say something, say something to the adult. I was like, is there, you have some, you have something you want to say? You have something you want to say? And the woman knew to sit, sit her ass and turn, she turned her head. Like I, one reach and it's on and popping. It's on and popping. Like, no. Even when I used to be at premieres, you know, with other writers that I was friendly with and somebody come in talking, I was like, can we help you? I'd be the first one. Like, can, what can I do for you? Oh, I'm talking to her, but I'm talking to you. See, that's see. This is what's going on now. I don't care about who you're talking to. I'm talking to you. What can I do for you? She's with me. What can I do? What can I help you with? Do you see what I'm saying? And that's never reciprocated. It isn't. It isn't. And a lot of you guys who are with Scorpios or have so-called friends that are Scorpios. And I always say that I always put the so-called because I know having relationships with Scorpios and speaking to Scorpios that I haven't had, I would say somewhere in the 80 percentile, high 80 percentile, which is very, very high that they don't feel reciprocated with the energy. And some even mistake protection for possessiveness. Oh my gosh, I can't talk to nobody else. Or when I'm out, I can't do this and that. You can do it. I'm not saying you can do it, but I know them. I know the shit that you're going to have to go through when you start popping off at the mouth or when you hang out with these people. Like I fucking know what's going on. Why can't you trust that I know what's going on? And then that's, this is when we, we just get rid of you because then you become a liability. It's like, okay, you know what? I'm giving you everything that's in this cute little box. And now when the relationship is over, you don't have that. And you're not going to get that from anyone else. You're not, you're never going to get that one-on-one -on -one attention. You're never going to get people who are looking out for you when you're not there, you know, and somebody may swing for you, but it's not really about you. It's about them. It's about them not looking like a punk or not this. It ain't, it ain't even about you. It ain't even about you. It's not. It's not. You're going to get people talking about you. And I know because I go through comments. There's people all up in my comments talking about their Scorpio boyfriend. That, and he needs to evolve and this and that. What kind of loyalty is that? This is not protective people. This is people running their mouths. They got complaints. But I bet he's out paying her bills, swinging for her. And I'm talking about swinging for you when you don't even know it. That's the thing. When you don't even know it. I told you guys the story about, I think I was 15 or 16. And my mom, we had a three-story home that we owned. And she decided to rent the bottom to a family. And I remember her coming upstairs because she was she was like aggravated. She's an air mutable, so she has a lot of Libra energy and like she does, she hates fighting. Like she hates to argue. She'll even lie to make things okay. You you guys know the Libra energy. I have a, I have a double Libra sister. And she does she does the, been doing that her whole life. She would do anything to avoid conflict. She can't stand conflict. Like oh, it just bothers her so badly. So. She came upstairs and I was like, what's the problem? And I'm not the closest to my mom. You guys know that. I never have been. I'm an intense person. That floaty stuff just doesn't work with me. But she's still blood. We got the same DNA. Okay. So when we got the same DNA, if somebody's up on one of my family members, I don't care whether I like you or not. I'm going to handle that shit. Period. So she came upstairs and told me that somebody got disrespectful. 
and the disrespectful person was around my age <laughs> because she was down there looking for the parent and she's just like, okay. And she was just so upset about it, but she, you know, she can't, she won't argue. She just won't do it. She will, you know, if she argues, it'll eat at her. Whereas me, I'm ruled by Pluto and Mars. I'm built to just destroy shit. The whole building coming down without a problem. And I don't, it doesn't eat away at me. It doesn't bother me. I'm not going home crying. None of that shit. I'm very comfortable in a destructive energy of breaking your shit down. So I didn't even ask for the intricacies of what happened. I know who, I knew where. Those are the things I knew. I know who, who was the problem and where the hell they were located at. And this is the second incident that happened with my mom, with somebody else, with the other person. I wasn't in town. I think I was in college when the other incident happened. Because if I was in town, it would have it would have been a destruction. So I think I told you guys the story in dating Scorpio or one of them, Rise from the Ashes. I might have mentioned it. I don't know. So I just put on my Tims, put on a hoodie, and walk right down them steps. And I didn't tell my mother, of course, because, oh, my God, why? No. Ah. No, we didn't do that. We put the hoodie on. We put the Tims on. We put Vaseline on because that's what we did back in the 90s because people like to scratch. And my skin was so flawless. We weren't. We wasn't having that. So we put the Vaseline on and we went right downstairs. Knock, 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 knock. As soon as the door opened. And it was on. There was no conversation about that. Okay. There was no conversation about that. And this is how I roll period. And it never happened again. It was, this person was never a problem again, ever, ever a problem, ever a problem. So that's just a type of protection. That's blatant. Like that's something you guys expect. You're like, Oh, fight for me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. But I'm talking about all the other intricate protections where we making moves to keep you from getting hurt. We know a lot of shit. We know people talking shit about you. We defending you behind the scenes. We keeping you away from this, that, and the other one. Coercing things and little events to keep you from getting into situations where you're triggered and this, that, and the other. Other people aren't doing that. They're not. They don't care. They're like, oh, it's okay. We will all hang out. I'm cool with her. You ain't got to start no beef. Nah, why the fuck are you inviting me to a place where you know there's going to be beef? Why would you even invite me? Why would you even place me in that scenario? You're not a protective person. Are you guys following me? Why are you even putting me in that situation? Why? I don't want to go to a party where people I don't like are there. Why would you invite me? Why would you set that up? Why would you set that up? For what? For what? And so these are a lot of little different ways. There's so many different ways Scorpio's protecting you. Most of it you don't even know about. You don't even know about. I've been behind the scenes making moves, trying to move shit around so certain people don't, you know, get into situations. Never did it for me. Oh, no, never did it for me, ever, never. Malika, so-and-so is talking about you. Why are you telling me? Did you check they asked? Probably not. Why are, you coming? Why are you even talking about it? Handle the shit. Handle it. With me, if I see something, I'll be like, let me just handle that shit. Done. You'll never know. You don't need to know about it. You don't need to know about it. But once you get out of my little box and you betray me or you cross me, you throw into the wolves. And that's it. And I'm not going to trash you. I ain't going to talk shit about you like other people would. I'm not going to do that. I'll write about you in my book. <laughs> Why not? Your name won't be in there, but I'll write about you. But I'm not going to pull what that girl pulled going to my enemies because she needed to be protected. I don't need to be protected. I don't need to be protected in that way. You know? I can stand on my own two feet. I'm not running for the enemy. It's like, oh my gosh, I need to be part of a group because now I'm not part of her group. Please, please, please help me. Nah, it's not like that. It's not like that. Everything needs to be give and take. This is why I deal with Scorpios because I already know that. I'm not questioning the loyalty. I'm not questioning 
them protecting me. I ain't got to worry about people behind the scenes talking shit in their face. I ain't got to worry about that. I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't even going to ask them about it. I ain't going to ask, why didn't you invite me? I know there's a reason why. I ain't got to ask all these stupid questions. I ain't got to complain. I ain't got to bitch. I ain't got to moan. I know they got me. Period. The end. I know it. I know they do. I know they do. There was, um, last story. <laughs> I know you like my stories. Oh. <sighs> I got to plug in my computer. Uh, um, there was a Scorpio guy I met, and I knew he was Scorpio right off the bat. I don't even know why I asked him. Oh, amazing Scorpio energy. And, and we hit it off right away, right, with our energy. And I remember us being at, like, a big event, and I already had my seat. And he had come with work friends. And he saw me, and I was like, hi. And he saw that there were seats available. You know what he did? He took the seat next to me and made all his friends sit next to him. So none of them could sit near me, not on this end. Like none of them had any access to me. And I was like, of course, this is something Scorpio would do. Somebody else would have had all their friends around me talking in my ear, asking, where are you from? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like none of them could even talk to me. He wasn't, he wasn't, nah. None of them had access. He, he had them sit on the side of him so they couldn't chirp in my ear, asking me shit, getting in my business. Look how naturally we just protect each other like that. Naturally. I've never seen it out of anyone else. Never. Never, ever, ever in my whole entire life. Ever. Ever. All right, guys, hang on a second. I got to plug my computer in <laughs> because I've, it's like down to 13%. All right, let me find my plug. Wait, I can't get up because I have a bodysuit on. I don't want the men to get excited. <laughs> All right, I have my plug. Oh my gosh. Woo. All right, guys, hang on a second. I don't want my computer to cut off. So I'm not on my. There we go. Oh, okay. Yay, we got some juice. We got some juice. Woo. Guys, I have so many stories, and uh, I use them. I use all of that when I think about it and I make the comparisons between somebody who would just throw me to the wolves, you know? Um, and, and I've told you guys in dating Scorpio, um, specific people who allowed somebody to just come into my vicinity. I'm like, how are, how are they so close to me? It's just, it just blows my mind because my friends, you can't get close to that. You don't have, you're not asking my friends for their phone numbers. Scorpios, you ever have somebody like somebody else you introduce and they and then they try and get your friend's number. They try to hang out with your friend. Like, what are you doing? Like, get, up, get the F out of here. Oh, you're so possessive. Get the F out of here. Don't talk to my friends. Ask me for, I'll answer for them. Don't get in their face. Don't try and, like, why are you so close? Like, it, we have the nice little gate. Do you know what I'm saying? We have the nice little gate that others don't have. People allow their friends all in my face. Their friends are asking me a ton of questions. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. We just, we're just out here, right? Mm, interesting. Interesting. It tells so much. It tells so much. And this is the reason why so many people have that, that deep pain when we sever a relationship. Because they don't get those amenities from anyone else. There's not one person who's going to who's gonna do that ever, ever. I want to show you something that I bought, and I'm so excited. <sighs> I told you that I am very big on affirmations. 
I bought this and I'm gonna find somewhere to hang it. Look at all the amazing things that it says. I'm kind, I'm brave, I'm special, I'm strong, I'm worthy. Yes, I'm enough. Look at that. I'm amazing, I'm resilient, I'm important. I love this. This is something you should have written in your vicinity, right? And I order, like you can see my moon and I got a little, uh, my son coming out of my son with a little moon. I have uh, things all over walls in different spaces like these to show me, to remind me, excuse, excuse me, how fabulous I am of an individual so that I don't need other people to say this. I'm not waiting like, you didn't tell me how special I am today. I gotta say shit, I already know it. I know the contribution that I make to myself, to others, to society. I know what it is. I know what I do. I know what I bring. And when I take it away, it's so, so evident. It's so, so evident. I love these. I don't, they sent me two, so I'm really excited. And I'm going to frame one of these and have it. But I also ordered a lot of the script ones that I have on the walls. Kind of look like that. Everywhere, honey. Everywhere. Because a lot of you Scorpios, you're like, people don't appreciate me. You don't even need to worry about that. Because you know, once you release them, you see, you see all that pain, honey. There'll never be anybody who's, who's like us. Ever. Other people's protection looks different. Other people's fake protection. Right? <sighs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, all of you guys who order books, they've been shipped. All of you guys who have chart readings, they're done. Uh, let's see what else is going on. If you're in New York City, you can pick up my paperback books at Um Shanti Bookshop, which is on East 14th Street. Uh, they're also at Namaste on West 14th and at Quest Bookshop. I'm going to let you guys know when this third book is on its way to you. It's very deep, very exciting. And I share more stories. I go in so that you can really grasp. A lot of people have difficulty and I don't know why. I have over 900 videos. I don't know how many videos I have at this point. They still can't get it. They watch a video. Well, why is he doing this? You know what? If you're not compatible, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. But you know, it's hard to go somewhere else because why? You, you're, you're getting all these amenities in that cute little box that you know that you're not getting with somebody else. You know you're not getting it. You know you're not getting it. But on the flip side, you have every excuse, every complaint. You want to complain? Like, I feel like no one around me should complain about anything. Period. Because what you get goes above and beyond any little complaint that you have. If anybody should be complaining, it's me. You can book a master chart reading. On my website where I go through, I take you through the beginning, starting off with your personal planets, and I tell you why they're important to you, and then, so you can get a basis and understand your chart and what type of individual you are. Then I take you through your love life, your karmic matches. I give you exact birth dates. We talk about your career. We talk about your superpowers. We talk about your challenges. And how to overcome them. And, and you'll pretty much have a master of yourself. You'll become a master of yourself using your chart to your advantage. I know my aspects. I know what my powers are. And I use them. I use them in my everyday life. In my everyday life. And so you can get a master chart reading. If you want to talk specific, you can book a personal live stream session. And uh, we'll get there with whatever questions that you have. I have 26 tarot decks and <laughs> I often pull them out and we get, we get some answers, clear answers. And so you'll definitely be satisfied with that. You can look at reviews on my site if you have, if you want to know what people thought about it, my court, you know, 
courses or, or my readings. I have nine crash courses, by the way. Many of you, I don't know what it is, but I think when it comes to Scorpius, you just get into relationship and you forget all the bases. You forget that we're water sign. You forget that we're fixed. You forget that we're, we're ruled by Pluto and Mars. So I have, you know, refreshers. Uh, dating Scorpios is one of those that takes you through the basics so that you, ha you have to keep it up here. You know, you wouldn't go to a zoo and forget that a lion is a lion. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then you forget that it's actually a wild animal that will bite you, that will can kill you. That's over 500 pounds. Like you will never forget that, but you'll get into a relationship with a scorpion. Be like, oh my gosh, he's so sweet. He's so gentle. And you forget all of the basics. You start running your mouth. You start overstepping boundaries. You start complaining. So, so you have so many, I'm like, where are these complaints coming from while you're sitting so comfortably in our cute little box of protection and you're getting all these amenities and you got in your, and you're talking. It, it really blows my mind. It really does. It really does. I just, I don't, I don't know any person who's ever hung around me, who I, whose lives I didn't change from the ground up, who, who did not transform, who was not protected. Who, you know what I mean? In front of them and, and behind the scenes. I don't know that. I don't know them until this day, even though I don't mess with those people, I'll never come out like they would and say anything negative because that's just not what I do. That's not my placement. Never. Unless it's in my book. In which I don't name names. <laughs> Unless it's in my book. I don't know it. I don't know it. So I have exclusive videos on my shop. Um, in my shop. Oh, and I've one that I'm definitely, I don't, I'm trying to decide whether I should do it exclusive, like a video or go to Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon podcast and just talk. I think I, I might want to do it there, but there's a very important video that I want to do uh, about how people will know us for a long time and still not understand our, our nature. Like, I'm still confused. It's like, you know what? I'm done with you. Like, I can't even, I can't, like, I can't. I can't because I'm not confused with you, but you're confused with me. How come I'm not, I'm not confused with these people? I'm not confused around any other Zodiac sign at all. I'm, not, I'm so confused. But no, I get it. I get it. I get your nature. I get all that stuff. I know why you run your mouth. I know why you're super social, insecure, all that. I don't, I don't have any questions for you, but you, you're around me sucking up my energy and you're still confused. I'm done, 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 and done. And so I have a video. Oh, my earring fell off. Wait. <laughs> I have a video about that coming up. Ooh. And what else is going on? Yes. Crash courses. What else did I not mention to you? All my sale items are an additional 40% off by using the code real. Scorpio. And I think that's it, guys. I just wanted to slide through and give you something, honey. Just wanted to give you something. I want you to watch this over on replay and just think about everything I said because I said a lot. And you guys know I have a Mercury Libra, so I like to go around, honey. But we didn't miss anything. I I I talked about how Scorpios protect you all the little ways. I gave you that. It's not just me going downstairs to punch a girl in the face who got disrespectful with, with my mother. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's not the only way you're protected. It's not the only way. You know, we, we our protection comes in transformation as well. Look at that, showing you who you really are. Who do you get that from? No one, no one, no one, no one. There's no other zodiac sign going to break you down. They don't care enough. They'll sit there and let you be a hot mess so they can talk about it and laugh. With me, oh no. You're not going to be around me and be a damn hot mess. You're going to get in the mirror whether you like it or not. What? What? Oh, gosh. All right, guys. I think that's it. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. 
I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>